Example 6 on how to solve apps do for you equations. Again, these examples and the flashcard can be found on my website, which is in the description. I hope you guys help this. I hope you guys find this helpful. And please leave me comments if you have any suggestions, any questions, and if you like this video, just comment it and let me know. Whenever we are solving apps to for you equations, we have to first isolate this apps to for you. Okay? We cannot just say, okay, we see this is equal to a negative number and say that's equal. That's like this has no solution. Or I cannot say, uh, let's just break it apart into two different equations to make this equal to positive 6 to make this equal to negative 6. We cannot do anything else unless we have the absolute value by itself. So let's do that. I see I have the 2 right here. Let's get rid of this 2 first by minus 2 on both sides. So this 2 in black will cancel with that 2 in red. And then I will get negative 2 thirds. And let me write negative 2 thirds as negative 2 on the top over 3. Multiply the absolute value of x minus 15 equals to negative 6 minus 2, which is negative 8. Then I have the fraction times this absolute value is equal to negative 8. To get rid of this negative 2 thirds, I have to multiply the uh, reciprocal of this. That is, I'm going to multiply by 3 over 2. Okay? And since this is a negative, let's make that negative as well. Because I want to have just a positive 1 altogether. So if I do that, if I do, if I do this, I see that 3 and the 3 will cancel, and the 2 and the 2 will cancel. And the reason that I had a negative here is because negative times that negative will be a positive one. So all together here, which is just a result of a positive one. So I did it. I have the absolute value by itself. Absolute value of x minus 15. And that's equal to, I also have to multiply the negative 8 by negative, two of, negative 3 of 2. And let's do that. Let's multiply this by negative 3 over 2. Okay, and maybe put that, make that more visible. So I have a whole number multiply a fraction. Let's make the negative 8 as negative 8 over, uh, over 1. Then to multiply fractions, we can cross cancel first. I see the 2 goes into 2 once, and the 2 goes into the 8 four times. And I will look at this as negative 4, right? negative 4 times negative 3, which is the result of a positive 12. Okay? Multiply the top and top, and over bottom times bottom, which is 1 times 1. So the result is 12 over 1. But over 1 doesn't matter, so that's why I can just put 12 right here. And then we did it. Absolute value is by itself. It's equal to a positive number then I can do this, right? I can do this. So the first equation, I will, I will just take out the absolute value. The inside never change. x minus 15, the inside never change, okay? The inside, it's equal to that positive number. Or the second case, the second case that we have to work with, it's again the, the inside, which is x minus 15, but then set this is equal to negative 12. Okay? And then we can just work out these two equations separately. Let's look at this one. Well, x minus 15 is equal to 12, so I'm just going to add 15 on both sides. This cancels, and I get this is x equals to 12 plus 15. 27. So one of my answer circle it first. And here um, again we are going to add 15 on both sides. You will notice that it's just the same procedure but you have to work with negative number negative 12 here instead of that positive 12. So add 15 on both sides and then I get x is equal to Negative 12 plus 15 is positive 3. My second answer. 
And notice that we end up with two answers, right? And I want to point out that whenever we are solving absolute value equations, um, it's likely to have two answers. But we have seen in um, example number four that you can just, I think example number four, like in the previous example, that you may just have one answer. That's possible. And in this case, we have two answers, and these two answers are both positive. Okay? So it's, it's possible to have both answer to be positive. It's possible to have both answer to be negative. Okay? And it's also possible to have one positive answer and one negative answer. Okay? So you have all these kind of different um, um, outcomes for the answer. And just make sure that you follow the steps correctly. The key is always isolate the absolute value first.